Welcome to Checkpoint Church. If you've never been to Checkpoint Church before, it's the church for nerds, geeks, and gamers. We play games, we talk about anime, we do all sorts of stuff in this space, and today we're actually going to be opening a subscription box called Manga Spice Cafe. I'm a mega fan of Manga Spice Cafe. I love what they do. They put together three books as well as an assortment of snacks every single month, and we are going to be taking a look at what they are offering this go-round. So whenever you open your Manga Spice Cafe box, what you're going to see is the Manga... Uh, Spice Cafe Maid Girl. They theme this after Maid Cafes. And so you're going to see that first and foremost. Here, let's see if we can get a better angle. That's a little bit better, I guess. So we got some kind of double trouble twin theme this month. We're going to see what's going on. We've got our manga and our snacks, but we're going to look first and see what the theme is. It's me, Maid Sunako chan or is it? Last night, after performing a tea ceremony in the garden behind the cafe, I looked in the mirror and my reflection didn't look like myself. This box uh, theme is double trouble, packed with a mix of manga and snacks. Be careful. I'm not sure if it's me or someone else who packed it for you. All right, let's not spoil anything for ourselves and give a look. First, let's take a look at our snacks before we start to dig into what we're actually going to be reading over the next month. If you ever want to follow me on Storygraph, that is where I post all of the uh, manga that I read and give them scores and sometimes even type up some reviews there. First off, we have some kind of Swiss cake roll. It looks like maybe a lemon Swiss cake roll, which sounds amazing. Uh, next up, we've got some Cheetos Crunchy. These just look like just Cheetos, except I'm seeing here, is this a Krispy Kreme burger? Is this like a donut burger flavored? That's too many flavors. <laughs> That's a whole lot of flavors packed into one punch, but hey, you know, I'll give them a try. We got a corn tube that is pizza flavored. These sound like combos, for those of you that know what combos are. Sound very similar to that. We've got a lime tea, probably a lemon tea, maybe. Should be delightful. I do love a good tea flavor. We've got some kind of stick. Seven stick, whatever that means. It looks like a churro almost. I don't know what the flavor is going to be exactly there. A Yaokin seven stick. Yeah, I don't see any cinnamon, so I guess not churro, but it does look like a churro, doesn't it? All right, next up. Ooh, that's kind of fun. I don't know what this even is, but it looks interesting. But we've got some peaches down here on the bottom. Some kind of, like, popping tube plus something. Interesting. Yeah, this is some kind of oolong jelly. I'm not a big fan of the jelly stuff, but I am a big fan of the uniqueness of this snack, so... At the very least, I'll get an experience that I haven't had before. We've got some kind of duck egg roll snack here. Maybe a little rice egg roll flavored something or other. I do like the branding a whole lot. All right, they always do deliver a ramen flavor. However, I'm not a fan of mushrooms, so I will, uh, I will not be eating this one. I'll be giving this one to somebody else. Uh, not a fan of mushroom anything. We've got some kind of brand snack noodles. Uh, I do love some snacking noodles, although these appear to be quite smushed, so I'm not holding my breath for that one. And then we have some fruit juice gummies with some adorable little bears on there. A big fan of all of this. I'm excited. I already see more suggestive content. What are you doing, Manga Spice Cafe, on my Christian Minecraft server? After last week's debacle, or not last week, last month's debacle with suggestive manga, this month you're going to do it to me again? Come on. <laughs> I can't catch a break. As always, they've given me 10 points. You can add up your points onto a point sticker chart and win free boxes that way or earn free boxes by a loyalty program. So that's what that is and what it looks like. Let's get a look at some of these manga for this time, starting with the suggestive one, Let's Do It Already by Aki Kusaka. Free-spirited Yuri Hasegawa and straight-laced Keichiro Katsuragi have fallen in love, but his elite political family, producing a line of prime ministers, does not allow male descendants to engage in, any, in, engage in any relations until they are 18. This really is about what it's about. Can the physically affectionate Yuri and a rule-abiding Keichiro keep their relationship strictly chaste? Uh, Yuri and Keichiro have gotten to know each other on their daily commute to their respective high schools. Yuri makes a passionate love confession to Keichiro, and he feels the same. Yuri rushes in to kiss her new boyfriend, but... Yep, there we go. So indeed rated T for older teen. No big surprise with the theming there, but I will say for what it's worth, I like the art, at least on the cover and on the back. They've got some neat characters, and I'm a fan of that. It is a shoujo for sure. Romance, $12, so a pretty normal, normative price for that one. This is the one we got spoiled for us last week, which I'm excited to finally give a shot. I saw the anime recently on Crunchyroll, but I have not started watching it because I knew I was getting the manga. Figured I would give the manga a shot first. So this is Trillion Game. Let's see. This one is by... The story is by Richiro Inagaki, and the art is by Ryochi Ikigami. Those are two very similar names. 
Okay, let's give a look at what Trillion Game is about. Self-proclaimed world's greediest man Haru and timid computer whiz Gaku set out to make a trillion dollars. They start the company Trillion Game to accomplish this task and hope to iron out the details as they go. With charm, technical skills, and no business plan, can these unlikely friends reach their lofty goal? After Haru and Gaku become the first Japanese people in the 21st century to be listed among the world's top 10 richest people, Gaku reflects on when he and Haru met and the events that led to the founding of their company. What started as a middle school acquaintanceship builds to a fruitful and unorthodox partnership as the two to progress on their ruthless past, path to success. Okay, this one is rated mature, so wow. Interesting, I'll be very curious to see what is so dark about this. And it is $15, so this is a bulky a bulky piece of work here. Pretty nice stuff, and put out by Signature Viz, so cool. I'll give it a shot, I'm excited for it. Oh, oh I love this, aw. What a fun one to get, I didn't know this was what I was gonna get this month. The last one I'm super excited for. I loved this movie. Now, granted, I loved this movie, so I'm not quite sure if I need to watch, uh, read the manga, but at the very least, I'm glad to say that I have it, and I'll give it a try. But this is Suzume, Suzume by Makoto Shinkai. The movie came out, I believe, two years ago, maybe last year, and the art in this one is by Dinki Amashima. Uh, the journey begins with this all-new adaptation of the Golden Globes-nominated worldwide hit directed by Makoto Shinkai, curator of your name and weathering with you. High school junior Suzume has no idea why the beautiful stranger she meets is looking for ruins for a certain door. Soon, after pointing the stranger, Sota, in the direction of an abandoned resort, she thinks better of it and goes to try to stop him. But before she can find Soda, Suzume unknowingly opens a decrepit door to a world beyond time and place and stumbles into an adventure of seismic proportions. Seriously though, loved this movie and excited to give it a whirl in the in the in the manga version of it. it. Looks really nice, gorgeous art, and this is another girthy one, $14. So we got a 14, a 15, and a 12. It's to my estimate that makes thir no, 41. $41. So that is well worth the price of this one cuz then we also have snacks on top of that. Also, these are three that I'm very interested in and curious about. You know, the the one suggestive one I could take or leave, but I am have never heard of it, so at the very least, it should be interesting. We're gonna start uh, looking at our magazine for this one. Let's see if there's anything in the magazine that helps me know which way to go with this one. Does look like next time we're going to be having a Demon Slayer. That is our spoiler alert. So our Halloween box next month will be Demon Slayer themed. Let's see, Trillion Game, there you go. So it is getting an anime adaptation by Madhouse. Suzume was great. Again, if you haven't seen it, you should see it. And the other one, let's do it already. I don't know any of their other work, but curious stuff. The snacks, looks like we have some Cheetos Guilty Cheeseburger Donut Flavor. That really is too much. Add sweet donut notes to the traditional cheeseburger flavor, making it a truly unconventional and satisfying treat. Now, I have had a donut burger IRL. It was overrated. But, you know, maybe it'll do better as a powdered version. I don't know. We'll find out. Sweet treats from Asia. Ever had fruit and cake-flavored gummies from Dr. Bear from Taiwan? How about an orange-flavored Swiss roll from China? So it's orange, not lemon. Uh, a peach and oolong ice pop you can freeze and snap in half from China. Okay, so it sounds like I maybe should freeze that one. So we probably won't be having that one today. I'll, I'll, I'll bring that one home. Maybe follow me on Instagram, Nerd Pastor Nate, and I'll see if I can post that to my stories if I remember that it exists. Crispy savory bites with light, salty egg yolk flavor. These crispy egg rolls from Chinese brand Come On and this Prince Dry Ramen Noodle Snack from Taiwan. Taiwanese brand V.E. Wong are sure to delight your taste buds. And then the citrus drink. It is indeed a lime lemon drink. Doesn't say tea, though. Uh, paired with the savory richness of the mushroom noodles, we will not be enjoying that umami uh, zest, I'm afraid. Okay, well, let's get into the snacks. It sounds like we've got some savory ones here. We got some savory noodles. We got some savory egg rolls. We've got some savory Cheetos. We've got some savory pizza. And it sounds like everything else is gonna be sweet, yeah? And this one we're gonna take home. So let's try the savory ones first. Of course, we need to do a nice amuse-bouche with the, the lime flavored drink here. Let's go ahead and bust that out. You certainly begin to eat um, your Eastern snacks without an amuse-bouche. That is lime lemon tea. Pretty good, pretty good. Exactly what it says on the tin. We're gonna start with tattoos, corn tube pizza, cause I like combos and you know, I could use some right now. That sounds about good. I got a road trip this afternoon. That's why we're streaming a little bit early. And so I, I might get some combos on the drive. We'll see, maybe these will do. Ah, oh, they are not, they are corn chips. That's a bummer, I was really hoping for combos. These are just straight up Fritos. It is a nice pizza flavor, but they are just 100% Fritos. 
Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Like I said, though, for what it's worth, good. Good, tasty, nice pizza flavoring. But I was hoping for a combo. Oh, well. Next up, actually, we're going to save this one for last because it's definitely the weirdest one on here. We're going to do some egg rolls here, some egg salty umami flavoring here. I'm very curious about how an egg roll could possibly have been shipped in transit. Uh, so let's see. Sure enough, dude. <laughs> what flavor are these? They're like orange inside. Is that like a cheese, a cheese flavoring? It's almost a little nasty. Okay, you know. Itadakimasu. Hmm. It's in incredibly flaky. Incredibly flaky. There's no crunch to it at all. I still don't know what the flavor is on the inside. I think it's cheese. I mean, it's so soft. I think it's got to be cheese. That's the only thing that makes sense. But that is a really strange flavor and a really strange sensation. I'm going to I'm gonna crunch it a little bit so you can see. There is absolutely no crispy crunch due to this. This is soft as can be. See it? It almost reminds me of baklava. Have you ever had baklava before? It's got very similar vibes to that Greek delight. So, yeah. Weird one. Egg rolls are weird. Not, not quite sure about those. I'm going to give those like a 3 out of 10. Next up, we're going to do some snacking noodles. These are going to be delightful, I already know. Maybe they'll have an interesting flavor to them, but I like snack noodles, so it should be a, a good time no matter what. Any weird people out there like me that eat ramen noodles raw anyway? Is that just a, a delightful treat for anybody else? Uh, clearly, I'm not the only person because they have a whole brand of them, but let's give it a try. Mm. It's so good. Why are uncooked noodles so good? It's weird. It's weird how good they are, but they are. They are so good. Mm. That's delightful. That's delightful. I would eat more, but I don't want to fill myself up. I also just had lunch. All right. These are the weird Cheetos. So these Cheetos are cheeseburger donut. Cheeseburger donut. I am worried. I am concerned. But we're going to give it a try anyway. The smell is already very strange. But it's straight up Cheetos. Here goes nothing. It's not good. But for what it's worth, they kind of nailed the taste. It really does taste like a cheeseburger and a donut. Really strange how much that actually tastes like a cheeseburger and a donut. <laughs> like, I don't know how they did that. I don't know how they captured that nasty flavor, but they did capture that nasty flavor. And it is nasty, but it is captured. How positively bizarre. With that, let's get into the sweeter end of the snacks. We're going to start with our fruit juice gummy here. Actually, I'm going to end with that because that'll probably be fine. I'm going to do the seven stick. Then I'm going to do the Swiss cake roll, and then we'll wrap it up with the with the gummies. Still don't know what these are, actually. They, they, they seriously do look like just churros. Oh, cute. Okay, so they kind of remind me of, like, sugar wafers. Let's try them. Yeah, man, that's a sugar wafer. That is 1,000% a sugar wafer. Mmm. These would be so good stuck in ice cream. 1,000%. Stick these in ice cream, and you've got a delightful treat. Nice, nice. 10 out of 10 for that one. Seven stick was an absolute delight. That was something that I needed. That very much brought back up my, like, terrible cheeseburger self. All right. Next up, let's do the Swiss cake roll. Said it was orange flavored. I still think it looks like lemon, but who am I to judge? All right. It is a Swiss, Swiss cake roll through and through. Give it a try. That's orange. Mmm. That's good. It's got a real like orange rind taste to it. Yeah. It's more, it's more of like an orange zest as opposed to just straight up orange, but they, they, they did it. That's a great flavor. All right, last but not least. Last but not least, we got the fruit juice gummies. We're going to give these a try. They are, they are sure enough, cake-flavored gummies. I don't know. Hang on, let me see if I can get it focused on that. They are cake-flavored gummies, 783 and a little cake. Curious. Very curious. I don't know how a cake-flavored gummy is going to taste. Oh, there is one that is cake-flavored. Interesting. 
Okay, so they do have multiple. They got multiple flavors going on here. We've got lots of gummy options here. We're gonna go through the different types. So it looks like we have an apple one here. We've got a strawberry. We've got maybe a grape, maybe lychee. We've got one cake flavored there. We've got a tangerine. That's gotta be the lychee. Okay, so we do have we do have one of each flavor. So let's give them the old college try and see how they go. We'll start we'll start with the one that I know I'm gonna like, which is gonna be lychee. Oh man, that like nearly pulled my tooth out. Mm -mm. It's a very good flavor, but those are not meant to be chewed. These are gonna take me like an hour to chew through. <laughs> They're like now and later's. Mm. That's good, but I'm gonna do the cake batter and call it a day with these because I. I know what they're gonna taste like and they are not as easy to chew. So let's go with the cake one since that's the weirdest one. I have a feeling it's gonna be vanilla and I'm not gonna like it. No? It's almost tasteless. It tastes more like lychee than the lychee one. Hmm. Pretty good, but I'm not kidding. That first one nearly ripped my teeth out, it hurts. All right. Well, there you go. That's your Manga Spice Cafe. So we've got three manga this month that we got. We have the Suzume, the Trillion Game, and the Let's Do It Already. And these are a total of $41 plus the snacks. The box, I believe, is 31 plus shipping, or 35 plus shipping, so it typically adds up to about, so. Hey, big old 10 out of 10. This is this is two thumbs ups this month. All, you know, new-ish manga, even though I've actually watched Suzume. I haven't ever read it, and so I don't have any of these. I am curious about all of them. They are well-priced. The one-to-one -one ratio feels good. Feels like I got bang for my buck. All the snacks were interesting enough. Even the gross ones were fun to try. And uh, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff, Manga Spice Cafe. You absolutely killed it. 10 out of 10 on this one. Two thumbs ups, all those sorts of things. With that, we're going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you taking time out of your busy days to join us on these bonus videos where we unbox things and do all sorts of random stuff. Hey, Checkpoint's got a lot going on right now. We are super in the throes of a lot of things. So I hope that you are enjoying the channel and all the stuff going on here. But we are going to wrap this one up with our three things that we believe to be true. Every single one of you out there, whether you believe in God, don't believe in God, go to church, don't go to church, hate God, hate church, no matter what, we are a church. I am a real life pastor, and we're glad that you have watched this video. And we're going to close it with three things that we believe to be true about every single one of you. Number one, that God loves you, like really, really loves you. Number two, we love you. We want community with you. Number three, that you, yes, you matter. You are a person of sacred worth. The world's a better place. Why? Because you are in it. Folks, with that, and until the next time that I see you, be well. Bye-bye.